Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Pray Trump unloads multiple Sunday strikes that is Comey and company quivering back to the woods. On Sunday morning, President Trump unloaded preemptive strikes against James Comey and others. The tweet strikes come just ahead of Comey's new tell-all book which is set to be released on Tuesday. Read Pray Trump's tweets on the Comey book. POTUS begins with, unbelievably, James Comey states that polls, where crooked Hillary was leading, were a factor in the handling, stupidly, of the Clinton email probe. In other words, he was making decisions based on the fact that he thought she was going to win, and he wanted a job. Slimeball. Then DJT continues. And this may be the most significant tweet. As it deals with the legalities of Comey's actions. He says, the big questions in Comey's badly reviewed book aren't answered like, how come he gave up classified information, jail, why did he lie to Congress, jail, why did the DNC refuse to give server to the FBI, why didn't they take it, why the phony memos, McCabe's $700,000 and more. Accordingly, POTUS hits to the core of where the corruption came from during the Clinton campaign as she ran for president. President Trump wisely states, Comey throws A.G. Lynch under the bus. Why can't we all find out what happened on the tarmac in the back of the plane with Wild Bill and Lynch? Was she promised a Supreme Court seat, or A.G., in order to lay off Hillary? No golf and grandkids talk, give us all a break. Again, President Trump lays down the truth in a tweet, in writing, he says, point blank. I never asked Comey for personal loyalty. I hardly even knew this guy. Just another of his many lies. His memos are self-serving and fake." Shortly, in another tweet, POTUS stated what all of this means for you and for me. Actually, for any American. He says, attorney-client privilege is now a thing of the past. I have many, too many, lawyers and they are probably wondering when their offices, and even homes, are going to be raided with everything, including their phones and computers, taken. All lawyers are deflated and concerned. And Rand Paul agrees with the president on that note. Specifically, it is a breach of the Fourth Amendment. About an hour and a half later, POTUS sends the last tweet, he says, Slippery James Comey, a man who always ends up badly and out of whack, he is not smart, will go down as the worst FBI director in history, by far. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like and subscribe. Thank you.